Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to enter bank transactions manually in QuickBooks Online. You'll also learn how to enter bank transactions directly in the check register, as well as how to modify any of the information that you've entered. I'll also discuss why it's usually not a good idea to enter bank transactions directly into the check register, unless the need arises for quick data entry. To start, select Accounting on the left-hand side toolbar, and then click Chart of Accounts to display your Chart of Accounts list. Now go ahead and find your bank account in the Chart of Accounts and click View Register in the far right column. All of your transactions affecting your bank balance will be reflected in the check register. Regardless of whether you entered the transactions directly in the register, entered them through the appropriate input screen, or accepted them from your list of imported bank transactions. I highly recommend you complete all of the fields for each transaction, but only the fields required are date, amount, type, and account. On the screen, you can see that the first section is the bank register. This field displays which bank account register you are viewing. You can switch bank accounts by clicking the drop down arrow and selecting a different bank account. Next is the date. This indicates the date of the transaction you're inputting. Reference number or type you can enter a transaction number, such as the check number, as the reference number. The transaction type is selected when you create a new transaction, and that will appear here. Next is payee. For payments, select the vendor or employee for this field. For deposits, select the customer. Account. Choose the account from the chart of accounts where the payment or deposit should be categorized. Next is Memo. Provide a brief description of the transaction. Class or location. Assign the transaction to your user-defined classes and location. If these fields do not appear and you want to track activity by class or location, you need to activate track classes and or locations as shown in my guide on how to set up advanced settings in QuickBooks Online. Foreign currency exchange rate. For foreign currency transactions, you can set your own currency exchange rate or let QuickBooks Online apply exchange rates automatically. Payment. Enter the amount of the check or leave it blank for a deposit. Now deposit. Enter the amount of the deposit or leave it blank if it's for a check. Reconciled. A check mark will appear in the column once you indicate the transaction has been cleared by your bank during the bank reconciliation. Do not add or remove a check mark manually. To keep your records accurate, I recommend that you always reconcile your bank account as shown in my tutorial on how to process bank reconciliations in QuickBooks Online. And finally, the balance. This is the account balance after each transaction. The register will provide a line for you to input the fields as I just described. Be sure to click the green save button when you're finished.
In the bank register, highlight the transaction you want to modify. This will enable you to change any of the information you input in the register. You can go to the input screen and add or change additional information by clicking edit. Entering transactions in the check register is considerably faster than using the input screens. You might consider entering transactions directly in the register if you're doing last year's bookkeeping. For instance, if you're doing 2022 bookkeeping in March of 2023, it'll be faster to enter all bank transactions as checks and deposits in the check register. However, if you're using QuickBooks to manage your company throughout the year, I highly recommend avoiding entries directly to your check register. Unless you're entering a lot of data and only care about classifying income and expenses, it's not a good idea to enter bank transactions directly in the check register. As the top recommended small business accounting software, one of the strengths of QuickBooks Online is the use of easy to understand screens for inputting transactions. These input screens provide fields for all of the information QuickBooks needs to account for the transactions properly and provide in-depth reporting. The check register does not provide all the necessary fields. For instance, the check register does not provide fields for items, multiple accounts, customer or projects, billable expenses, or markups. In addition, checks added manually to the register cannot be applied against outstanding bills from the vendor. Payments received from a customer cannot be applied against their invoice if you enter the deposit in the check register. Transactions entered in the input screens will flow automatically to the check register. If you've already entered a transaction in the check register, you can open the appropriate input screen by selecting the transaction in the register and clicking edit. In today's tutorial, you've learned why it is not recommended to enter bank transactions directly into the check register, but also how to do so if the need arises. In my next tutorial, how to manage QuickBooks Online bank feeds, that will teach you how to accept imported bank transactions, as well as how to match them to existing transactions within QuickBooks Online. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.